A little known property tax loophole is costing Cook County taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. That's the finding by a team of researchers in the Cook County Treasurer's Office. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff is here. Dana, they say the county's black and brown communities are the hardest hit. And Erica, they say it's been going on for years. Just who's profiting? Companies and investors who buy up tax delinquent properties and then basically get their money back with interest. Lots of it at taxpayers' expense. Cook County Treasurer Maria Pappas says this mall in Calumet City is just one of hundreds of properties helping so-called tax buyers get rich. It, like the other properties, was put up in Cook County's tax sale because the owner was behind on paying property taxes. Pappas says a buyer snapped it up, held on to it for a few years, and then demanded money back. The buyer can do it because the county listed the mall as having zero square feet, a mistake that entitles the buyer to a refund with interest. They get all their money back from the governments plus between 12 and 54 percent interest. In the mall buyer's case, that interest added up to $250,000 of taxpayer money. A lengthy study done by Pappas's employees found a property tax loophole called the sale in air gives buyers the ability to basically return the property at taxpayers' expense. They say in just seven years, it's cost taxpayers $280 million. About 87 percent of that 280 million was taken from mostly black and Latino uh, areas of the city, the south and the west side, uh, predominantly the south suburbs. They got hit really hard. It impacts schools, police, fire, and other municipal services. Pappas and her team say many of the properties are bought up and then returned by hedge funds and other private investors. They uh, have groups of researchers that look into all of this. Uh, and that they're very sophisticated. But Pappas's office wants to change that. They plan to push Springfield to pass a law that would make it impossible for buyers to profit off a tax sale listing mistake like they do now. This law is so egregious that, that it would be impossible for Springfield not to change it. That team in Pappas's office discovered this legal loophole as part of an assignment to uncover problems within the property tax system. They hope to get a law change before lawmakers in the spring. In the newsroom, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News. Erica. $280 million. Yeah. That is astounding, Dana. Yeah. Thank you.